Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the features of document management in Auto15. Proper management of document is very important in any organization. So the lack of proper document will diminish the business of the organization and it led to spending more than what is expected. So here the document module in Auto15 is the suitable method for reducing the clutter in handling documents and it allows to efficiently store the data in different forms such as photos, videos, URLs and it supports uh, support the PDF forms. So let's move on to the document module here. So while it enters into the window, we can see the pre-configured documents recorded in the system. And here in the left side, we can see the workspace details. So the documents can be categorized based on all internal, finance, HR, marketing and so on. And here we can uh, also use the tags inside each workspace. So it is easier to identify the documents. And here we have the uh, option to attach, uh, view the attached. So you can click on the option, uh, like not attached and not a file. So to open the document, you can just click on the thumbnail, the document will appear here. And while selecting a particular record, it shows the uh, overview of the record in the right portion of the window. And here you can see the option to schedule the activity. So while clicking on it, you can uh, schedule the activity here. And here we have the uh, favorite option to mark the important documents. So it is to easily access the data. And here we have the option to start the conversation with the user. Apart from the Kanban view, it is also have the list view. So here in the list view, you can see the documents, tags, contact details, honor details, type, create a date, etc. So here the uh, types can be seen as file and URL here. So by click, clicking on the upload uh, option, you can uh, upload the document here. Before that, you can go to the configuration settings. Here in the file centralization section, we have, uh, you can see various options. So it includes the human resource, product, project, recruitment, and also the accounting. So all these options are designed to centralize the documents that have uh, that are uploaded with the product. So you can enable the uh, human resource to centralize the employee's documents. Uh, that means the contract and pay slip. And here you can uh, set the workspace, payroll workspace, and can also set the default tags like pay slip and contract. Likewise, we can enable the product also. Here also you can uh, set the workspace and default tags. And here we can enable the project to centralize the files attached to the project and task. And here we can see the recruitment. And finally, you can enable the accounting to centralize the accounting files and documents. So here we have the option to configure the journals also. So you can save the changes before leaving the page. And apart from the settings, here we have the workspaces. So the configuration can be done from here. So here you can see the details like workspace, tag categories, company details, write groups and the read groups. So while clicking on a particular one, we can see the details like name of the workspace, parent workspace and here you can provide the company details. And here in the tags tab, we can see the category and tags. So while choosing a add a line option, we can provide more tag categories. And here in the access right tab, we can see the uh, right access group and the read uh, access, access group. And here we can provide the description for the workspace. And here we have the direct link to the actions and documents. So when clicking on it, we will uh, enter into a new window. And by clicking on the documents, we can see the documents that have been created. So if you want to create a new workspace, you can click on the create icon. So here we can see the uh, tags that have been created. 
So if you want to create a new tag, you can just click on the create icon. Here we have the share links option. So you can see the details regarding the shared documents, uh, links and emails. So you can see the workspace name, share type allows to create it by and create a date. And here we can see the status that is live here. So here we have the uh, spreadsheet templates or oh, here the window displays the created spreadsheet templates like name, created date, created on, created by created date. And here we have the option to add new spreadsheet, edit it and make a copy. So let's move on to the documents. So to upload a new files into the system, we can access the upload button. Now we can uh, choose the document here. Now we can uh, see that the file is successfully uploaded. So here in the right side, we can see the uh, details about it. So you can see the name of the uh, document, you can see the contact details. And here we can see the owner's name, workspace, that is internal. So it is an internal activity. And here we have the option to add the tag. So by clicking on the plus icon, we can choose the tag here. Here we can uh, see the option to chat. So while clicking on the chat, we can send the message, log note, and can see the schedule activity option also. And here we have the option to download it. And here we have the sharing option. And can also see the replace option. So here uh, we have the lock option. So by clicking on it, the document will be locked. So here you can see the document is locked now. And here we have the split option. So here we can see the option to split it. And here we have the archive option also. So if you want to share a document, you can uh, select a file and click on the share button. So a pop-up window will appear and here we can see a button uh, to generate the URL. So it is a new feature in Odoo 15 uh, document management. So here you can copy the URL and here you can provide the name of the share link and can set the validity and also here we can provide a log note. So after filling uh, all the details, you can uh, click on the done. So it will be shared to the person. And by clicking on the add a link option, we can uh, enter the URL and also you can provide the name and click on the add to uh, add the link. And here we can see the request option. So uh, here we can uh, enter the document name. And here we can search, uh, provide the request to that means you can provide the uh, person to request it. And here we can set the due date and here we can set the workspace as internal and also we can provide the tax here. And here we can provide the note. So by clicking on the slash, uh, we can choose the basic blocks and can uh, click on the request option. So here we can see the request have been sent. So when it comes to the uh, actions, we can see a lot of uh, actions like create a task, sign, mark as draft and duplicate. So if you want to create a task, you can click on here. So here we have the uh, already created task. So if you want to edit it, you can edit it. Or if you want to create it, you can click on the create icon here. And here we have the option to sign the document. So from the uh, right side, we can uh, choose the field and drag this into this uh, document. Uh, like any uh, signature, name, email, phone number, etc. 
and here we have the option to send it and we have the sign now option so while clicking on the sign now option we can uh, provide all the details and sign click on the sign now option So here we can see the name and the sign is provided here and can click on the validate and send completed document option. So here we can see the uh, document and here we have the option to download the document and certificate. So let's go back. And here we have the option to create the spreadsheet so while clicking on it we can see the spreadsheet here so if you want to create a new one you can click on the create icon and here we can provide all the details that need to be added so while coming to the accounting feature here we have the uh, reporting And here we can see the invoice analysis. So and here we can choose the pivot view. So here we have the option to insert in the, it in the spreadsheet. So we can confirm it. And here we can provide the title. So okay, again save this and when we comes to the documents and goes to the spreadsheet so here we can see the uh, spreadsheet that have been created so here we can see that so we have been discussing about the features of document management in Odo 15 that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.